custom Night Titans of Krieg are here. Spiky bits. Welcome back, Hobby Maniacs. Rob Bear from SpikyBits.com in the studio again with Phil from Dark Bunny Creatives. Hello. Um, these are really good. Thank you. <laughs> I don't know if you know this. <laughs> The internet has might has not told you yet, mm. but really good. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Uh, we're, we're pretty proud of them. <laughs> uh, never seen anything like this before. I was like, what do we got here? And then you started unwrapping yeah. it. I was like, oh, my. Oh, oh, oh my. That's, uh, <laughs> that's, that's very crazy. So what's the, uh, what's the overall theme and, I guess, procedure for something like this? And then maybe we'll take a closer look at each one individually. Certainly. Um, so this was all based around, obviously, the Deathcore Cree. Mm -hmm. um, we're big fans of them at, at Dark Bunny. And uh, we actually brought a Deathcore Cree with Space Wolf Knights to a, a Nova event. And that's where the, the client who uh, booked this project was inspired and, and reached out to us. So um, he is also in love with, uh, with the Cree. And so we decided to design this army around a... Uh, a knight household um, that is obviously well versed with Krieg um, and mm -hmm. actually mid battle. So um, you've got Krieg running through trenches as they so often do. <laughs> yes. And uh, the knights sort of stomping through uh, around them. Careful not to squish them, you know. <laughs> always, always uh, uh, looking down. Exactly. So, um, yeah, so you got the Krieg trenches. Um, all of them also have custom. Um, carapace weapons so we've done we've gone in and done these uh platforms that we built out mm -hmm. using the platforms from wyverns in the hydra kit mm -hmm. um and then we added the mortars that are part of the kree forge roll kits um all the guys are based uh, we took the bodies from the wyvern kits and then we stuck some Krieg heads on there yeah to uh yeah to continue that theme and then we did some sick uh <laughs> what i love are the sandbags <laughs> So we sculpted those and just kind of plopped them all over the place. Worked really well, I think, with that. It really helped tie the team together. They're like throw pillows. Yeah, you just, yeah. You know, really just, soft. Yeah, yeah you, you just, just throw them on things to make make them blend in. <laughs> exactly. So, um, and then the uh, the star right here in the center, uh, we've got the uh, custom cult sculpted uh, head, uh, the uh, curus, and the. Um, uh, oh, all these different areas. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, the chest plate, yeah. uh, head, and then the uh, some these straps that kind of signify some of the markings and all that for for ranking and all. So now he looks like the uh, the grandmaster. He is for them well, or marshal, excuse me, marshal. He, grand, you're right, absolutely. Yeah, he was based around the marshal miniature from the GW or from Forge World, so uh, everything was sort of mimicked around that to to make him stand out as the leader. So he'll be the one that gets that four up invul in the game. Fresh four up invul. <laughs> yeah, it's happening. All right, well let's take a look at some of these individually. So these are these are the twins, huh? These are the twins. Yeah. <laughs> so they got uh, we did a, did a little bit of work on the heads to give them sort of that rebreather or I guess that I don't even know what you would call them in the technical terms, but canisters I guess to Can, keep, yeah canister mask maybe yeah sure or, yeah fresh air coming in there yeah you know, period they need to breathe. Knights gotta breathe, bro. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, uh, we did magnetizing on all these knights. So um, as is standard, uh, we've got the different guns here. All the um, options. And then you can of course stick the sword options here and all that. So got the hands and, and stuff. Yeah, and then of course you gotta be able to magnetize for the battle cannon. So that pops off. Whoop. Oh yeah. And then we could stick that little battle cannon on. So, your basic standard mm -hmm. um, magnetizing and all that. So all, all it takes is time. It does. Just what about what about up here? How do you switch that out? So the gun pops right off. So these are designed to represent the missiles. Mm -hmm. uh, that would be the Kyricus weapons or Carapace weapons, excuse me. And then you can just standard anti-air gun there if you want to oh, wow. bring that along. So there's the two different ones right there. Very cool. Yeah. Nice. Those look great. And there's the big boy. The Looking. big daddy. <laughs> this is a classic uh, come yeah. at me. Absolutely. He's pointing at you and everything. Wow. Let's bring it on. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's uh, pretty pretty remarkable once we start getting a, a look just at this. Now, what? Uh, so what level is this? Because there's obviously some conversions going on. 
Yeah, so the conversion is all, um, we we usually just charge separately for that, so that's not necessarily uh, commensurate oh. with the level itself. Gotcha. Um, epic basing does entail more impressive basing, which these are all epic, um, but this was almost uh, like a diorama, so it was a little bit more uh, involved than just a standard epic basing project, uh, but the paint job is all done to epic, including the infantry. Um, mm. And... Yeah, and then we had this sculpting, of course, with the mask and the faceplate, which we showed a lot of whip shots of and sort of progress shots on our Facebook page. So you guys are welcome to check that out if you want to see some more details on how it sort of started, um, which is Facebook Dark Bunny Creatives. There you go. But um, same with standard weapon uh, magnetizing with this. Uh, for some of these, we did actually expand, extend these Oh, the holes. pistons? Yeah, the pistons. So uh, we used brass rod for that, just mm. so we could get some more movement and um, a little bit more interesting. For the epic pose. Dynamic. Yeah. So this is, of course, magnetized as standard, um, just like the other ones. And then, you know, if you really want to make it look like you're super gangster, you can pop on the uh, uh. <laughs> the old gallon cannon. <laughs> that makes absolutely no sense. <laughs> no, it doesn't. But it looks cool, right? Yeah, it looks it's cool. cool. I mean, just the rule of cool for sure, that, right there. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Wow, that is uh, that's incredible. It's one of the best nights I've I've seen in a very long time. I feel like I've seen at least two or three nights too. We so. we definitely love our nights, so uh, but we appreciate that and thank you for. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. All right. Well, I think we I think we've done it all here. So y'all make sure to check out Dark Bunny Creatives over on the Instagram, the Facebooks, DarkBunnyCreatives.com, all the tubes. You can find Dark Bunny. They'll be there. See you there.